The short answer is yes. You can install third-party apps on Hisense Vita TVs, but it's significantly more complicated than on other smart TV platforms. Let's explore why this is the case and what you need to know. Hisense Vita TVs run on Vita OS, which is built on Linux rather than Android. This creates a more closed ecosystem compared to Android TV systems. The platform prioritizes security and stability, which means fewer options for installing unofficial applications. To understand why installing apps on Vita TV is challenging, let's compare it to Android TV. Android TV offers an open ecosystem with easy app installation, while Vita OS uses a more restrictive approach focused on security and stability. Recent firmware updates in 2025, particularly for Vita U6 and U7 models, have significantly tightened security protocols. These changes have made many older sideloading methods obsolete, requiring users to find new approaches for third-party app installation. The success of installing third-party apps depends on three critical factors, your TV model, the firmware version, and your geographic region. Newer models like U6 and U7 have stricter security, while older U4 and U5 models may offer more flexibility. So while third-party app installation on Hisense Vita TVs is possible, it requires more technical knowledge and patience compared to Android TV systems. The success rate is relatively low, especially for first-time attempts, and recent security updates have made the process even more challenging. The first method involves activating developer mode on your Hisense Vita TV. This requires navigating through specific system settings that are hidden from regular users. Navigate to Settings, then System, and look for Developer Options. This menu may not be available on all Vita TV models, particularly newer ones with updated firmware. Important limitation. This method only works on specific TV models and firmware versions. Many newer Vita systems have restricted or removed developer access entirely. The second method is USB sideloading, which involves downloading APK files to a USB drive and installing them through a file manager on your TV. Popular applications that work well with this method include Kodi Media Center and VLC Media Player. These apps have shown good compatibility with Vita TV systems. The third and most reliable method is screen mirroring and casting. This doesn't install apps directly on your TV, but allows you to access content through your smartphone or computer. Casting technologies include Miracast for Android devices, Chromecast for Google ecosystem, and AirPlay for Apple devices. These provide the most stable way to access additional content. Before attempting any installation method, it's crucial to understand the security risks and follow best practices to protect your TV and personal data. Always back up your TV settings before attempting any modifications. Only install applications from trusted sources to avoid malware, and be aware that these methods may void your warranty. Success rates vary significantly by TV model and firmware version. Developer mode works on about 34% of attempts. USB sideloading has a 23% first-time success rate, while screen mirroring works reliably on 89% of Vita TVs.